I am Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to remove a logo from a moving object. So let's get into After Effects and get started. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects. I have my footage which I dragged into a new composition. Um, I can't share this footage with you because it's of a project of ours, um, but you will be able to follow along with this tutorial and apply this to your own footage. Click on your footage and the first thing you should do is actually render it again. So go to add to Adobe Media Encoder. Here we have our, um, our video file. I will just um, go to the output file and search for a nice location. And I created a new folder render image sequence and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to save it right here but instead of just saving a video file we are going to save an image sequence JPEG and then just render this out. All right, and then we are going to import that same file again as an image sequence. So click on your first file, select JPEG sequence and import that file. Then import it back into your composition. You can see that it's shorter than the actual track and that's because it has a different uh, frame rate. So we are going to right click on our video uh, file here and go to interpret, uh, interpret footage and go to main and change the frame rate to 24, click OK, and then we will be able to lengthen it um, to the same length of my video file. I knew I was shooting and the composition settings are also at 24, so uh, you can see and check it there to uh, get the correct frame rate. So the reason why we've done that is because we need an image sequence uh, which is going to work better with Mocha. Mocha is something integrated in After Effects. So if you click on your footage right here, go to animation, uh, we are going to uh, track it in Mocha. And now it opens up uh, this file here. We can see that the imported clip is from 0 to 88. Uh, so uh, it's looking at the frames uh, and there is where the uh, image sequence comes in handy and um, some uh, video codecs don't work with uh, Mocha so that's why I have converted my video file into image sequences. Uh, so click OK and then it will import your video file. You can play it back by uh, just hitting play actually and um, that's it. Uh, so go to the beginning of our video file and what we'll do is um, go over here and create an X-Pine uh, layer tool. So click on that and then just click, click, click around uh, everything that has some detail uh, around the logo. And then if you want to stop, right click and now it's going to make a selection of this. And what we need to do now is just track it forward by clicking on this button. All right, and then click on the export tracking data and we're going to change it to After Effects transform data, position, scale and rotation, and then copy to clipboard, move back to After Effects, right click here, go to new and add a new null object. Make sure you're at the beginning of your timeline and then just go edit paste. And now it's going to be tracking uh, towards that uh, position. So actually uh, we have a null that track to the shoot now. So uh, once you have done that, go to Photoshop and we will open up our first frame. So I will open up my first frame here. Um, if you can't see your logo clearly in your first frame, pick another frame where you can see it uh, as clear as possible and then just open it up. And here I'm going to zoom in uh, just a little bit on the shoe and I'm going to pick my pen tool and then I'm going to make a rough a selection right around the right right around here so we don't get uh, some spill of our correction so um, something like this should work fine right click make selection and make sure the feather radius is zero okay and then we're going to select our clone stamp tool and you can right click hardness at zero and the size whatever you want you can actually change the size of your um, clone stamp tool uh, while holding alt and right clicking uh, somewhere in the frame something like this uh, is going to work fine and then hold alt and click somewhere uh, that has the actual pattern that you want to overlay on top of your logo so alt click over here for example and then it's going to look at that position that place to uh, pick the colors and uh, the image from so try to clean it up now Actually, it's better to uh, click somewhere close to the logo so you don't have any color, sh uh, color shifts, but for this shoe, it's not that big of a deal um, as it's kind of dirty, so. 
And there we go. We're going to drag out our logo here. And you can see if I click over here, it's not going to do anything. So that's because I'm of our selection and that's why I've made the selection so we can't spill around our area. So just some safety. Then once in a while, click on a different location to relocate uh, your clone. Okay, there we go. So now we have uh, deleted our logo. If you're going to zoom out, it's like if it's never been there. And what we're going to do now is actually uh, just sh uh, save this here. So I will just rename this to underscore fix uh, so that we know this is the correct version and just save it as a JPEG that will do fine. Uh, you can actually go for PNG if you don't want any quality loss or TIFF, um, but JPEG is uh, good for in this, uh, yeah, for, for this time. So go back to After Effects and then import your fix. And there we go, we have the fix, import that and drag it on top of your footage. So now we have this as footage. If we toggle it off, you can see that uh, the logo is there and it's not because of the uh, correction we made. If you picked another frame, uh, control click on your timeline and go to that specific frame of where you picked uh, the image from. So for me, that was the first frame. So I will screw up to the beginning of my timeline. And now what you do is just uh, pick with the null object here and now it's going to move along with our shoe. And then we're going to untoggle our fix here go to the pen tool and zoom in on our shoe and let's just select our logo like this and if you want to be sure you can also feather it by pressing F on the keyboard and feather it for like 25 and if we're going to enable this again and we're going to play this back our logo will be removed All right, so that was my tutorial on how to remove objects in After Effects. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos. And if you have any suggestions for videos, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.